she looks pretty damn good. All right, so I'm gonna slice into it and hopefully it turns out really well. Put about two teaspoons of olive oil in here. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the mixture, the garlic. Get all the good stuff. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this up. You ain't gotta really come to my face, but you don't gotta come to my face, really. All right, it's so pretty, isn't it? All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix the, the hot ingredients in with this. And here is wax paper. So I'm gonna form a, I'm gonna form a square right here after I mix all this wonderful stuff up. Nice, fresh farm eggs. I mean, warm from the chicken's butt, we just got it. So now we're gonna go ahead. Now I'll let you go, I'll let you know again. I've never made this before whatsoever. Never made it before. I'm gonna mix this up just a little bit. So, so what I'm gonna try to do is make, I wanna make it as thin as possible. Well, I wanna make it a little thin, because when I roll it over, not thin, thin. Definitely want nice. Oh, you're gonna roll it. Yeah, I'm gonna put the, so now I'm gonna get ready to take the blue cheese. Now, I've seen this on one of the recipes. She took spinach and I thought it was kinda cool. Hey man, cut that noise out over there. So I'm just gonna lay spinach out on here. First time for everything.
Here, take a look. You want to look at my uh, look at my shirt real quick. One of the guys. So I'm gonna stop real quick. You, you can. This is for Tommy, one of the guys in my in the Chesapeake Outdoors. But here, let me talk real quick. Okay, so right now, you know, with all of us being in, one of the guys, you know, he's so busy. He is part of the medical group right now that's dealing with all this COVID stuff. And um, that is Kevin from Bass Rack Outdoors. Give him a thumbs up for doing all the hard work he's doing. You know, everybody's trying to be safe and he's right on the front lines of this stuff. And uh, so, you know, we're definitely praying, make sure everything's good with him and he stays safe. And uh, so make sure you give him a thumbs up. You know, it's really, really cool what he's doing. He's working really, really hard. Oh, give thumbs up. Working really, really hard. All right, so I think that might be enough. Oh, you can come back down. This might be enough. Spinach. I see I'm getting my vegetables. Now, I put, like I said again, I put the sausage in here because of the, 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 the um, deer meat. Um, venison being so that so I'm gonna have her set that down real quick and open up this blue cheese for me hold on for a second this is it's like my third pair of gloves I've done went through so many pair of gloves already so hopefully I won't need it so I'm gonna take some blue cheese and bring it on. for that, that big that horse laying there in the middle of the floor. All right, so I, I don't know. You can just do it by feel how much blue cheese, but I might use this whole. <laughs> the, my wife can't, the wife is making the fight. She don't like none of this stuff. All right, so why not? Let's, let's live it up. Let's live it up. All right, so the way this is supposed to work is that we're actually going to use use the wax paper to actually roll this. This should be a hoot. This should be really, really fun to do. All right. So bear with me, all you cooks out there. I'm sure I'm going to have to play with this thing like Play-Doh. Ooh, look at that meatloaf. Oh yeah. Well, it's pretty big meatloaf. Not exactly even, but. I forgot in the first beginning of the ingredients, I forgot to tell you that we're actually gonna use bacon. So once I get this on top of here, I'm gonna lay strip of, strips of bacon across the top. All right. We got wax paper underneath. Well, that looks god darn pretty. Okay, so we're gonna wait for the, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wait for the oven to get up to temperature. Once it does, we're gonna stick this in. Should take about an hour. All right, about an hour. We might give it an hour and 20 minutes, but it should be about an hour. All right, see you when it's done. Let's look one more time before we put it in. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, that's the before picture. We'll show it to you when it comes out the oven. All right, see you. All right, so. There she is, she's done. I took an internal temp. It is over 160. Now I'm gonna put some aluminum foil around it and I'm gonna let her rest. Okay, she looks pretty damn good. All right, so I'm gonna slice into it and hopefully it turns out really well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see how this slices. The end looks good. Oh, looks juicy. Slice the whole bone. Well, there you go. Stuffed blue cheese. I'm going to take a bite of it. My wife's going to. I'm the only one in the family that eats. That eats deer meat. Nobody else will eat it. Yeah, that looks good. 
Let me get some of the bacon. That's pretty darn good. That's real good. Wow. All right. I'll put the recipe for it, what I put in there, in the description. All right. So it it turned out delicious. All right. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit a thumbs up, especially for Kevin. Kevin's out there really, really putting himself on the line out there. Um, and stay tuned for more stuff. And everybody that's in the group um, from Cambo Trout, you got outdoor um, Amped up outdoors, my mouth is watering. I want to eat this. I don't want to talk no more. A cambo trout. Um, that's with Steven. We got Tommy from Amped Up Outdoors. We got Grant from Chesapeake Bay Kayak Fishing. We got Kevin from Bass Rack Outdoors. And we got the man, the legend, the Baltimore angler, um, Brandon. So I'm done talking. That's it. I'm going to go eat. I've had enough. Goodbye. See ya. Make sure you subscribe.